Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to model a Focusrite Scarlett 2i4 Gen 2 audio interface. If for some reason you will not understand what button you need to click or I forget to mention something, in the left button corner you will see small icons which shows what I'm clicking. Let's go! First of all, you need to add a reference image. You can find it on the internet. Add a cube and set up dimensions according to real one. Scale down a floor for better visualization. Set the opacity to 0.3 for better display. Place your reference image to the front and scale it down to the size of the cube. Switch to the X-ray mode and select edges you need to bevel. Press Command B on Mac or Ctrl B on Windows. Hover your mouse to the side to bevel. Scroll your mouse wheel to make more geometry for smoothing. Staying in the X-ray mode, select vertices and manually move them according to reference image. Select your front edge by holding Alt, hovering your mouse near edge and left click to select. Press E to extrude and apply with left mouse button. S to scale down a little bit, S X to scale along X axis. Eyeball it to align evenly. E Y to extrude along Y axis. Press X and delete front face. Then delete the back face. Select the edge, which we have just created by extruding the face. Press Command D to duplicate, hover your mouse to the side and press right mouse button to reset the position. Press Command P to separate by selection. Go to the object mode, select the mesh we have just separated and go to the edit mode. Scale it down to make a little gap. Press Command F and select grid fill. Hover your mouse to the middle of the face, press Command R and scroll your middle mouse to make more geometry. Do the same with another dimension. Select everything, go to the side view by pressing numpad 3 and extrude along Y axis. To cover the gap at back side, select the outer box and go to the edit mode. Select the edge, extrude, scale down and align like we did before. Add subdivision surface modifier in the modifier tab to the outer box. In the edit mode, add edge loops to the sides by pressing Command R and left mouse button. Go to the object mode, front view and create a cylinder. Align it with holes on reference image. In 3D view, place it so that it intersect with the front face. Here I forgot one thing. In edit mode of inner box, select everything by pressing A and deselect back side. Extrude it inwards along Y axis by pressing E and extrude it back again. Go to the object mode, select inner box. In the modified tab, add boolean modifier. Set solver option on fast, overlap to zero. Duplicate cylinder for all holes which audio interface has. Select all cylinders, press M to move them to the new collection. In the boolean modifier, select the collection that you just created. Hit checkbox of the collection to hide it. Don't forget to apply the modifier when you're done whole process. Here I found a gap, so I just moved front face to close the gap. Create circle and rotate 90 degrees along X axis. Scale down and move it to the front, align with the lamp. Press E to extrude, left mouse button to apply. S to scale inwards, G, Y to move it along Y axis, E, apply, S to extrude inwards, align it with the hole, create cylinder and align, select the edge and bevel it by pressing Command B, select front face, turn on proportional editing, scroll down to increase proportional editing influence and move along Y axis to make it more spherical, select front face. I to insert and move your mouse. Make it more spherical. Select faces where red lines should be. Insert faces by pressing I. By pressing R to rotate and double G to move edges to make it more straight. Press Alt E and choose extrude along normals. Select two corners inside and bevel to make them rounded. Let's move to the XLR connectors. Create circle, align it. Shift D to duplicate circle. Scale it down. Extrude inwards and make sharp corner. Duplicate as many times as shown on this video.
select and delete vertices which are intersecting. Press F to fill gaps between vertices. Select shapes and press Command F to fill. Delete outer circle. Yes, it haven't been needed. Select all vertices and extrude them along the y-axis. Add bevel modifier with three segments and add subdivision surface. Align with the box. Delete vertices in inner circle. Make loop cut inside whole cylinder. Extrude edges to add more details to the shape. Repeat all the process for the rest of the knobs and the same situation for the back side. Let's move on to the textures. For the outer box, I found brushed metal material through the Blender Kit add-on. Select the material and it will apply to the box. Scale it down in Mapping node to make lines smaller. Also, you need to add a color ramp to recolor the box. For the front face texture, you need to create one more window by pulling the corner and set to UV Editor. By pressing Ctrl T, image texture and mapping will be created and connected. But remember, for this combination work, you need Node Wrangler add-on to be enabled. Select image that you used for the reference. Turn off X-ray mode if enabled. Press numbered 1. In edit mode select front face, then hit UV, project from view. Align UV with the image as accurate as possible. Also, I recommend to clear the image in Photoshop to get rid of messy textures which might appear. For the knob materials I assign two textures. Select required faces and hit assign to give them different texture. For the main texture I use dark grey color with 0.689 roughness and for the second texture the same roughness but red color. For the lamp set the emission color and set strength to 10. Same emission texture for pad button. For switcher I used metal material. Metallic 0.589, roughness 0.505. For the master gain and headphone gain knobs, I used following steps. Assign different regions with different materials. For the front region, I used wave texture with scale 1500 and zero on another values. Connected through the object texture coordinate. Then connected to the bump node and then to principal BSDF. Create second UV map in vertex tab and unwrap selected region. Add UV map node and select this new UV map. Add image texture with white stripe. Connect it all through the Mix RGB node with Color Burn mode. The same technique with straight lines, but change some values in Wave Texture. Set to Bands, Y, Sign, Scale minus 55. And connect it straight to the base color of principal BSDF and Bump node which then goes to the normal. Glossy material is almost default, with metallic 0.88 and roughness 0.125. To add logo on top of the box, choose outer box and go to its material. Create second UV map as we did before and unwrap top of the box. Through the Mix RGB node, connect image texture with logo on transparent background. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. I would be very happy if you like this video and leave a comment. Bye.